Scott Ian has released his new book, I'm the Man, the story of that guy from Anthrax, and it's a straight-ahead autobiography about how the Anthrax guitarist went from a Kiss fan growing up in Bayside, New York, to being in one of the four groups that changed the face of rock, and specifically heavy metal. The tome is brutally honest, but it's not a gossip or a mudslinging book. With that being said, Anthrax's first vocalist, Neil Turbin, took to the press to slam it as a work of fiction. So how does Scott respond to such accusations? I don't care. My book is, it's my book. I, I don't give a shit. <laughs> What's his personal favorite part of I'm the Man, the story of that guy from Anthrax? The early, the early stuff of you know, trying to make our first record, just getting to that point. Because still for me, if I think back about my whole career in the band, that till, that still to me is, you know, when people ask about high points, and there's a lot of obvious things like what, Yankee Stadium or Madison Square Garden or whatever, uh, but getting to make a first record, it's still so amazing to me that we were able to do that. Even writing it out, writing the story out from that point in time, from you know, July 18, 1981, the first ever jam session, which became Anthrax, to recording Fistful of Metal. Um, you know, those three years, basically. It was, I was like July, well, actually, from July 81 till we were actually in the studio, which was fall of 83. So, so those two years um, of trying to get to that point um, it's just amazing to me that it actually happened. Lastly, Scott will be releasing his fan-funded DVD, Swearing Words, in Glasgow on November 14th. And he performed a special spoken word show in New York City as part of the CMJ Festival on Wednesday, October 22nd. Scott called his life and started to look back at his experiences when he had his first child with his wife, Pearl. And we asked him if he knew specifically which of his life events would be in the spoken word show and which ones would be in the book. I don't know. I don't know how the book affects the talking shows or, or vice versa, really. Obviously, with the book out and then a DVD coming of my talking show uh, next month, um, you know, obviously I'm going to need new material. Although some of my comedian, friends, my comedian friends tell me, look, people want to hear jokes over and over again, like almost like greatest hits. So you'll always be able to tell your dime bag story. Even if people see the DVD, you'll be able to tell it. So... Um, but yeah, obviously I need more stories and more tales and I do have a lot more than I've ever told in my talking shows or that are even in this book. The book was released through DeCapo Press and the foreword was written by his friend, Metallica guitarist Kirk Hammett. Anthrax is currently on their way to the West Coast to play Slipknot's curated festival, Knot Fest, this weekend. <laughs>